The owner of this beautiful I Rock Z. What's your name, sir? Harold. Harold. Harold, where are you out of? Long Island, New York. Long Island, New York. Can tell me a little bit about the car, how long you had it, and all, right. it all, all the goodies. I actually bought the car on my 18th birthday, and I am now going to be 40. I'm 45, I'm going to be 46. So I've had the car many, many years. Mm -hmm. um, I drove it to college and to work. It was a Z28. Daily driver? Yep, daily driver. And then uh, just got the bug and I took it off the road and started cutting it up. And 10 years later was the first time I drove it again after it was all back half. And uh, it had a blower on it, but carburetors. And so this is like the third time the car's been redone. Third redition. Se. Exactly. Can you open the hood and take a look at that Absolutely. beast of an engine? Oh, you got there. It's a 352 cubic inch small block Chevy. It's a dart block. Um, it's got all good internals. Um, Lenati crank, Jessel, AFR heads. It's a PDS 871 uh, airlock blower. Stage two with electronic fuel injection. Runs on E85. Um, it's making about 15, 16 pounds of boost right now. I drive it on the street more than I race it because we have no track on Long Island. Wow. Um, so, I, last time on the dyno, it made like 902 rear wheel horsepower. So, nice. it's probably making about 1,100. But like I said, I street drive it, you know, more than anything. Dro you drove it here or you trailer? No, we trail it here. I'm, I of course took, not. We're like five, five and a half hours to okay. get in today. Gotcha. Turbo 400 from Select Performance, uh, Pro Torque converter, uh, has a Dana 60 with 410 gears. Shifter? Hearst Lightning Rods. Okay. It's my poor man's Lenko. One day I'll be able to afford a Lenko. <laughs> like they had for right now, Lenko. that works. Came in the Hearst Oles? Yep, absolutely. I was taking a look at it before, I know you still have T-tops. Yep, that's... and they still come off and uh, that's why I had to do the funny car cage because of the, the T tops. The uh, stability and everything. Yeah, just God forbid, that's what NHRA wanted. They said it had a Dana rear? Yep, Dana 60 rear with a spool, all 40 spline. Four link, it's actually a uh, Jerry Bickle uh, four link kit in the rear, um, anti roll. Uh, QA1 double adjustable shocks. And the car actually has been painted since 2001. Wow. It's nice.
And what year is it again? 87. 87? I wanted to kind of keep, I mean, I wanted to kind of keep like the stock style interior. Right. Like I didn't a pro street. want to go, exactly. Yeah. Like some nice. people do custom yep. consoles. I wanted to kind of leave it. I like the IROC. That's why yeah. I kind of wanted to That's what it. I was noticing earlier when you uh, had the lightning rod shifters in there, how you modified the, the original console. Right, exactly. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to build a, one that didn't look like right. the original. Mm -hmm. So but yeah, that's a true pro street. A long yeah. time. Nice. And then this is the, this is very cool part of the EFI to help it uh, be street driven. It's a progressive linkage. Uh -huh. So when I drive, oh, I'm okay. driving on one butterfly. Well, and then, <laughs> right. So this is how I could drive it around. And then when you get on it, yep, then the other one's up. open. Cool. So it drives so nice on the street. It is. A lot of, you know, a lot of research. And like I said, the radiator, I had a custom radiator made. Actually, my buddy Glenn Took has awesome. this guy from California. I could drive it all day on the street. Yesterday at home, I took it out. It was about 84 degrees outside, and the car didn't go over like 175 degrees. Nice. Sitting in traffic, everyone's looking at me like, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> it runs, I'm very lucky, it runs really well. It's good. Yeah. And I said I got a lot of street miles on it.